Hi guys, today we are going to be discussing about the resume preparation. So first I will start with the experience resume, then I will go for the freshest resume. So for the experience resume, what are the points should be taken care? First thing, your contact details. So contact details comes under basically name, phone number and email ID. So why we should maintain this one as a first point means basically whenever your resume is picked, the HR will check these points and they will contact you through the phone number. If they want to send a mail for the interview invitation, they can uh, send the interview invitation mail. So next thing what we have to maintain here is second one is the professional summary. So professional summary is nothing but just a highlighting what are the skills uh, you know just it is a highlighting how many years of experience so in this resume uh, so here i have given an example i'm having four years experience in the software quality so here also i have given a professional summary that like that i'm having a five years of experience so in that one two years in the mobile experience i'm having two years in the selenium uh, automation experience so you can consider suppose you having the manual experience so you can put the experience uh, differently like that i am having this manual experience or group of experience you can add it so total experience so what uh, is a manual experience if you are working with a mobile experience if you are working the performance experience you can put it so basically mostly if you are working as a functional tester so functional tester basically what type of skills you having manual testing and automation testing so Manual testing, you, if you want to mention, so presently uh, I'm working in the automation. Previously, I'm having two years experience uh, in manual. You can maintain. So there is a no rule that you have to put like this. It is your wish. So some companies want to know total your experience. So you can put like this. If not, they will ask in the interview. You have put it that like I am having a five years experience. So they will ask. So how many years in the automation you having? How many years you having the experience in APA? How many years of experience you having in the manual? Then you can update it. So this is one type of resume uh, which you are going to be explaining your professional summary. So what are the skills you know? So basically here I have mentioned that five years experience I have expert in test ng and some advanced advanced experts i have javascript executions i'm uh, integrated with the jenkins uh, and github uh, maven I have integrated uh, i know basic knowledge of sql so related to the database uh, and you are ready to learn uh, new technologies you can maintain this one so the same point here so if you want to on which framework you have worked you can maintain that framework also having experience with the uh, uh, pom framework you can maintain so if you know the both the functional and non functional testing how you are going to be perform you can mention these points so this points is related to the your professional summary so basically don't add much things which you don't know also please don't add it so here i have added more skills so that i have developed soap i have developed rest i have worked on uh, different types of testings so here i have added more points so basically when interviewer ask the questions related to your professional summary they are going to be asking the question if you have put what are the technologies you don't know also it will put the weightage for my resume if you add it you are going to be facing the risk that is the one thing i am suggesting you don't put unnecessary points here in your professional summary what you know you have to put that one only uh, so here i have prepared another resume in the pictorial format so what are the functional requirements uh, i'm having the knowledge so i have put it what are the automation tools i'm using selenium so how much percentage i know in the selenium i have a test strategy how much i am good in the test strategy how much i have uh, how much i am good in uh, in scripting languages how much i am good in the versional control how much i am uh, good in the java programming language uh, how much i am good in the reporting tool uh, root cause analysis so whenever i am facing any problem so how to identify that one apa testing cucumber testing and uh, test management tool so this is a professional summary which i know i am going to be maintaining here so here mostly you have to maintain what you know and what you have worked as per the experience guide so in my company i'm using uh, a 
automation tools we having selenium we having different types of automation tools so in my previous company we having in build tool like krypton and nft i have worked on so if you know that tools you can put that tools Uh, so in market i am we having lot of tools so i i know cypress i know uh, tosco don't put like the tools so whatever the tools you having the experience and whatever the tools you have learned and you are working that tools only you have to put in the professional summary next skill set so skill set basically third is skills so what are the different types of skills you know basically we know some programming skills so this one i have put it on the left side so if you want to put here also you can add the skill sets like i am having experience with the java i am ha- having experience with the c sharp i am having the experience with the github so i am having the experience with the maven i am experience with the test management tools like jira or rally or whatever the tools you know service now so what are the tools you know you can mention the skill set here and next thing so professional summary you have put the next one professional uh, experience so experience or organization experience i can say that so which uh, so basically which company you have worked and suppose i have worked for xyz company so this company how many years you have worked so presently you are working you can put as a present so i have uh, uh, resigned in the month of november 1st so you can put as a november uh, 2024 so whatever the year is there you can put uh, that year what is your role here you can mention the role on which company you have worked in and what is the role there so you can put here about your professional summary experience so here i also put some professional summary in this way you can maintain any way so education summary you can maintain so professional summary so if you want you can give the pictorial representation you can put your photo also and whatever the career has started so that career points you can put it and education points you can put it you can put in the pictorial way if you want to put it you can put it and here i have given the summary and next academic background so academic background no need to put for the experience about 10th inter this is not mandatory you can put the highest degree if you have completed btech you can put the btech if you are completed mtech or mca or if you are uh, came from bcom background or bsc background you have to put that information here and next one is uh, related to your a project you can put it or if you have did any certifications suppose if you have did any certification fourth point is organization experience you can use anything next academic one you can place it next one certifications if you have did any certifications so for example if you have performed istb qb certification for the testing we having iestqb certification so in the certification we having the founder uh, level different levels we having so you can add this foundation level or if you have performed the selenium certification so selenium certifications you can maintain or if you have performed the scrum certifications and uh, in the istbq in which level first level second level third level how many cert- certifications you have completed you can put that one and seventh point is your project explanation your project details i can say that so first what you have to do whatever the current project you having you have to put in the first order so most of people will get confused here they will put the first working project so don't put like that so current working project you have to put so in the project what is your project name duration also needed so from how many uh, you have working from 2022 to 24 you are working for this project 22 november present or you are working still in this project only so in this one project name your role so your role as a senior uh, qa engineer or a quality analyst whatever your role in your current organization you have to maintain that one then project description so what the project contain description of the project so i'm working for health domain project so health domain project which uh, we want the doctor appointments for example so a uh, patient has to log into that uh, applications and he has to 
book the appointment on that applications what this project is going to do suppose if you take the facebook application so facebook applications which we are going to be communicating with our friends we are getting gathering the information suppose you have taken the amazon project so amazon project which we are going to be booking our uh, things we are going to be giving a small description it should not exist more than uh, three to five lines so don't give the uh, description one page or two pages it should be less than three to four lines then your roles and responsibilities so what you are doing so you are um, suppose if you are a manual tester you are going to be writing the test cases if you are automation you are going to be automating the test cases how you are going to be automating what methodology you are following the agile methodology we are going to be following how you are getting a uh, work assigned to you and you can give that some description here so that they can know what is your role. so here preparing the test strategy test cases uh, here they are using the azure if you are using rally you can put in the rally if you are using service now you can put the service now if you are using the jira you can put it uh, uh, writing the test cases in the selenium web driver designing the framework uh, and coordinating with the developers you can maintain it this is apa project so what is your responsibility so here i am playing a role of automation for the architecture of selenium web driver for the purpose of migrating the current automation test cases they are working suppose previously they was working on the qtp they are migrating to the selenium or they are developing the bdd test cases using cucumber so what they are writing they you can maintain it so why i am showing all this for different different projects means to get a clear idea so here what is your current projects and what is your key role so in this project so where i have been working on good knowledge on agile methodology using scrum process we are coordinating with the developers and recording the defects in the jira and tracking it using bdd framework with the cucumber or if you are using rest assure you can maintain all those things so here what are the skills you have used for this current project also you can maintain it it is not mandatory that uh, you need to use this one you can add the skills which we have working for the current project you can maintain those things next one achievements so what you have achieved in your current organizations if you have achieved any things so if you get any recognitions from your company that uh, achieve the employment of the year uh, receive employee of the month achieve a good framework designer uh, sometimes uh, whenever we are raising uh, a number of defects uh, at that time they will uh, recognize as a person who, who has raised more defects you can uh, that part whatever the achievements uh, you received you can maintain that one and next one languages which you know so basically uh, it is not mandatory to maintain the languages which you know next one we can use the professional address personal details so personal details where your location everything you can maintain it so it is also personal details you can maintain or not it is not mandatory so this is all about the experience resume so if we want to be a fresher resume just we will go through this fresher resume so fresher resume so first thing what we for any resume we have to maintain these parts here if you want to put your photo also you can put the photo this part first uh, part is what uh, contact details is most important for the freshers or any person so contact details then professional details so uh, professional details means you are searching for the automation testing so automation testing skills what you having the professional summary or profile summary what are the technologies you know in your current academic year what you have performed you can maintain and the technical skills so what are the languages you know you can maintain core components so what are the core components you know you can maintain it if not you can you can avoid this part working experience you don't have na? so don't put the working experience for the freshers academic list of academic uh, experience you can put it here so we can see how to uh, get the resume so i don't know uh, how to prepare the resume first thing so you can download any sample resume from the internet and you can modify 
as per your requirement. So here I'm having the another pressure resume. So career objectives. So uh, summary. They have given the academic summary and what I know in the manual testing, what I know in the automation testing. Just you can maintain these things. So there are the lot of resumes. Uh, you can download it and you can use it. So there are the lot of sample resumes you will get in the internet. You can download it. So there is another format. They put the names and phone numbers. They have given the uh, if you have performed any internship for the freshers, you can perform the internship, whatever the certifications. If you have did extracurricular activities, what you have achieved, you can take any sample resume and you can modify as per your requirement for the experience. Also, you can uh, take the resume. You can download the resume, but point should be remember what are the technologies you know you have to maintain that one unnecessary don't put uh, unwanted technologies which I know this is a small information have provided to prepare the resume thank you guys